and to such an extent that if an ant oppressed another ant, oppressed it, whether he was in the middle of some jungle, under some rock, Allah will make him pay the price of sin on that day. And when this is taking place on the plane of resurrection, Allahu Akbar, what would you see? The people will be getting punished. The people will be getting punished. Some will be drowning up to their ankles, some up to their knees, some up to their waist, some will be drowning in their own sweat. Some people, the intoxicants will be around their necks, some their tongues will come down towards their waist. Some people will be on the plane of resurrection, their private parts will be on their faces, and blood and pus will flow from it. Some will be, there will be snakes around their necks. Some will have two tongues. Some will have two physical faces. Some people's bodies will be divided, cut in half. Some people may be made small as ants. And people will walk all over them. They'll be cramped. They'll be crying. Their tears will run out. Blood will be flowing. And then after Allah has dealt With the animals, Allah will deal with the messengers. Starting from the messengers from mankind. Allah will say, bring the preserved tablet. And the preserved tablet will be bought. And when the preserved tablet is bought, Allah will say, where is the Zabur? Where is the Torah? Where is the Injil and where is the Quran and the preserved tablet will reply and he will say Jibra'il has copied it from me Allah will call Jibra'il and then Jibra'il will be born on the plane of resurrection Allah will say the preserved tablet has informed me has informed me that you have copied it does it speak the truth Jibra'il will be shaking and he will say, Oh Allah, he speaks the truth. Then Allah will say, Tell me, what did you do with these books? And Jibra'il will reply. And he will say, Oh Allah, I gave the Zabur to Dawood alayhi salam. I gave the Torah to Musa alayhi salam. I gave the Injil. To Isa alayhi salam, and I gave the Quran to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Then Allah will say, Bring Nuh, and Nuh will be born on the plane of resurrection. He'll be shaking. If this is the state of the prophets, they will be shaking, shivering, scared. What chance do you and I have? Then Allah will say to Noah, Jibra'il has informed me that you are from amongst the messengers. Does he speak the truth? Noah will say, Oh Allah, he speaks the truth. Allah will say, What did you do? And the messenger will reply, and he will say, Oh Allah, day and night. I called them towards Allah. I called them towards Tawheed. Oh Allah, they ran away. Allah will say, bring the people of Nuh. And then the people of Nuh will be born. And Allah will say to them, the Nuh is claimed that he delivered the message to you. Does he speak the truth? And the whole of mankind, they'll be witnessing this. The people of Noah will say, Oh Allah, he speaks a lie. He speaks a lie. My brothers, if this is the state of mankind on that day, why is the likes of you? Then after Allah has dealt with the messengers, judgment will take place. And the people will get judged one by one. There'll be two groups on that day. The people of the right 
they will receive the record in their right hand and then they will be the people of the left those who will receive the record in the left hand the people of the right is those people who lived a life of obedience lived a life worshiping Allah who lived a life fulfilling the commands of Allah and acting upon the Sunnah people of the left they will be the people of the fire of hell and who are these people these people are those people who lived a life of disobedience who lived a life of sin then Allah will judge them and who Allah decrees has decreed for that person to go into the fire of hell Allah the Almighty will say fetter him chain his hands chain his feet Abdullah ibn Abbas says that chains will go through his back private part and it will come out from the front and they will wrap him and they will drag him and they will take him towards the fire of hell now the angel that will take hold of him black of face black eyes sharp black teeth Allah has taken the mercy out of him why so he doesn't feel pity for that person who will be dealing with in the fire of hell and this angel will say didn't messengers come to you didn't you believe you had no time for Allah and he will throw him into the fire of hell with a severe thrust on that day there will be a bridge sharper than a knife thin as hair slippery there'll be angels on both sides with hooks made out of fire some people will pass this bridge like the flash of lightning some will pass like a twinkle of an eye some will pass in such a manner that they'll be slipping and they'll pass others they will slip and fall into the fire of hell and the ones who have passed this stage of crossing the bridge they will see jannah and when they see jannah allahu akbar allahu akbar now is time for muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he will open the gates of jannah for people who will enter Jannah and people will enter in their thousands, in their millions. And the others, they will be in the fire of hell. I pray to the Almighty Allah that Allah makes us from those people who will receive the record in our right hand. As I pray to the Almighty Allah, the Allah forgives me. Why? Justice has not been done to this title. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين